Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Hope we're having a great day and we're all doing well. Before we continue with this video, however, I do ask if you do go on to enjoy, be sure to drop it a like and consider subscribing as it does help greatly. Right guys, so what I want to talk about in this video is some upcoming player cards in Operation High Caliber, which also kind of confirm which events we are going to be getting this season, although we kind of already knew that. Okay, so I'll recap this quickly because I know all you guys are probably all aware of this, but for you guys who do not know, next season in high caliber they are going to be changing how player cards work in the game you'll be able to customize the operator image between the default the elite and even some event skins as well and you'll also be able to change the background of the operator card as well now they did show off some colored ones which seems like everyone's going to get for free as a default but it does also seem as well that we are going to be getting some premium operator card backgrounds as well and thanks to longu19 on twitter we actually have a look at two of the event ones coming in operation high caliber now this first one is for the snow brawl event i've already made videos covering this event already so definitely go check them out if you are interested because it does look like an extremely fun event so as you can see here they showed off what the player card you're going to be able to unlock from this mode is going to be we are not quite sure yet how exactly you are going to be able to get these maybe you're going to be able to purchase it with renown or our six credits maybe it's just going to be in the past and it's just gonna be RNG luck if you get it or maybe it's just gonna be a free community challenge and everyone who plays the event just gets it for free. I think that latter option there would probably be my most preferred considering I think most event packs have a lot of crap in them anyway. I would much prefer if they didn't have you know charms bundled up in them and single weapon skins because it really does take away from the headgears uniform and universal skins which you are wanting from those packs so I think if they're adding player cards to that as well that would just make your luck worse because obviously there's another variable in there of what you can get and most people probably won't want to spend a premium price on a pack just to get a background so i definitely think the best option here would be just if you play the event you get this free player card as like a commemorative little piece but anyway they also show what the thunderbird player icon looks like over it so as you can see that's kind of what i was explaining you can change the background yet still have the standard operator in front of it next one they actually show off is the road to si 2022 one now this one does look very cool and something i want to point out between this and the other one which i showed off it does seem like this one is a legendary now i can't really make out what rarity the snowball one is since it is kind of cut off a bit but it definitely does seem like they are different rarities which kind of makes me think that maybe these are going to be in packs which like i said isn't my preferred option i'd still probably end up buying them because i just think they look cool and you know i have no concept of money clearly but i just wouldn't really like these in packs i'm fine with them you know monetizing it and you can pay for it separately but i think putting them in event packs just kind of clutters the packs a bit more than they need to maybe just release them in the store if they are going to charge it but packs do definitely seem like a not the best option in my opinion and yeah they once again showed off what thunderbird looks like on that background as well and the reason they are using Thunderbird is Longo also posted a tweet showing off a new upcoming 6 invitational set for Thunderbird. But they also said that the operator and background cards are actually still placeholder for it. So it might seem that this upcoming Thunderbird set will have a different operator and player card for that as well. So a different background and operator image for Thunderbird as well. They might not be right here. I'm just going off what they're saying. I might even be interpreting it wrong. But it seems like what they are saying is this set will also bring a new operator image and background. So does that mean like just with every upcoming bundle we're going to get in the near future, we're actually going to get a new operator image and background i'm actually a bit surprised about that if that is the case now i will say i don't think that is going to be the case because these operator images are like pre-rendered images which they actually have to go out and make and of course it's not the hardest thing ever but it feels like they, it's something that they probably won't do for every single skin. Maybe they will do this for this one since it's a special sort of skin. And they'll do it for like event skins, elite skins, maybe some artist crossover skins. But I think maybe general bundles, they maybe won't do that. But hey, they might and that'd be pretty cool. Something I'd even love if they went back and added some for bundles, which have, you know, came out in the past, which they probably will do. I'm not going to be surprised if this does happen, but I think it'd be really cool to get like a visual operator 
Operator player card and it's actually the La Casa de Papel set for him or same for Habana or even like the Rick and Morty sets. I think that'd be so cool to have as an actual Operator image for their player card. So yeah guys, I'm just a massive fan of this new customization option coming to the game. I really like how you're going to be able to change the operator images. I really like how you're going to be able to change the background. And as well, I think it just looks really nice. I know people aren't the biggest fan of the UI, but I think this UI looks really good. And the way that they've done these operator cards is just extremely clean and I just like it a lot. So yeah guys, I am going to end this video here. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Are you looking forward to this new customization option coming in? Rainbow Six Siege. I know I am definitely. So yeah, drop a like on this video if you did enjoy. Subscribe if you are new and I shall catch you later. I love you all. Stay safe. Peace.